Okay, so we just hit flight level 210 at Runga. So obviously next is S482, which we have an altitude for in the MCDU, which says 10,000 feet. So we're going to set our MCP altitude to 10,000 feet. Initiate the descent by clicking upwards. As you can see, it starts coming down, and then we should hit S482 at 10,000, hopefully. There we 8,000 after that. Okay, so just at 10,000 feet now. Um, I've done manual control, see, because it doesn't have a proper descent calculator. So I want to get to 8,000 feet by the next waypoint, which you might do just in time, actually. If we just move the slightly less, we could do it. Um, so now we're past 10,000 feet, we want to turn on the landing lights, take off and taxi lights, and also the seatbelt sign should come on as well. And go breaking through the cloud. Okay, so 8,000 feet, we can bring in the speed brakes now and arm them. Um, so after this waypoint, we want to be at 480 at 5,000 feet. So let's reduce this to 5,000. We'll do a manual descent rate. And the auto brake low for arrival. a bit super car actually because we are there we go so this is the route we're taking all of that That's not normal. Does this sometimes. So you want to go direct to. Oh no, this is our arrival. Okay. So we're going to do a visual approach here. So the runway is just to the left of us here. So that's what we want to do. So we're going to bring down our speed to 20. And full speed brake. And then reduce altitude to about 2500. Like so. I oh, see so we are landing over here somewhere. There we go. There's a runway. Cool, so four thousand feet. Let's just reduce the descent rate for a bit. Go minus 1,500 because we're going to bring the speed down. So right now we are in manual control and we've done that by engaging select headed mode with the down arrow. This um, engage manage edit mode. Okay cool, so now we want to Switch to about 285. To start with the left turn, speed is coming down good. At this, this point, we want to arm the LS. We're not actually going to um, switch on approach yet. We want to see the LS just to make sure that we are on track, which it looks like we are. Okay, let's go about heading 270. Okay, we approach 2500 feet, which is good. Speed will start coming down now, so we're going to drop it to about. 205 and you see these little lines here this um, orange orange and yellow line the second you get past that you can set your flap so that's flap one and then the next orange and yellow line which is here then you can do flaps two
Right, let's bring in the speed brake as well and arm it. Because the nose would be too high otherwise. As he done here with 12 miles out from Stockholm Arlanda. Arlanda. Right, we can set flaps two now. So we'll set flap position two. Bring in the range. There's the airport just to our left over here. Right, let's start lining up with the runway. So we'll go ahead in Way there. I'm going to arm approach as well. Hopefully, it takes us and aligns us. See, that's the runway. should start bringing us down soon as you can see the diamonds here so the diamond is above it um, above this line it means that you're too low the diamond is below the line it means that you're too high the same for this if the diamond is to the um, right then you're too far to the left if the diamond is too far to the left then you're too far to the right as you can see it's just captured it um, and now it's descended on its own on the glide path which is good so we're gonna set speed 160 like so and we do that because that is the um, restriction until 4 DME down here so when this um, number hits 4.0 you can reduce to your final landing speed which is 133 because we set that earlier one okay so we can go flaps 3 and gear down now so gear down and flaps 3 there we go Do a cabin check. So, oh, there you go. Cabin's ready. There we go. Right, 4.5 DME now. Nearly at 4. 4.2, 4.1, and there we go. We can reduce it down to 133. Our final landing speed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add 5 knots. 138 and then flaps 4. 15. There we go. I'm going to disconnect the autopilot here as well. So, autopilot 1 off. That's the autopilot disengaged. Now, in terms of the auto throttle, you don't have to do anything with that. Um, it manages auto throttle down until um, you have to retard it yourself. So don't bother disconnecting your autopilot unless you really want to. But I disconnect it when um, the aircraft says retard, which all you've got to do is pull your thrust to idle. 500. Okay, so as you see, the ILS is rather just a bit low. Not to worry. 400. Well, we are in the middle of the runway, which is good. I'm going to start descending down a bit further now. Just a bit turbulent. There we go. So when the aircraft shuts out retard, um, we'll mm. idle the thrust and flare. One hundred. 
50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Oh, it didn't shut it out. That's odd. Five. There we go. And reverses green. So in the, in the case it doesn't actually shout out um, retard, do it around 20 feet. 20 to 40 feet, I suggest. And reverses green decel. As you can see, the speed brake is up. And also the reverses are green. Okay, so manual braking. Disengage the reverses, like so. Good. and then turn off to the left. That flight was 42 minutes long. Stop the clock by clicking the chrono button. And then what we want to do is, is to disengage the sea brakes, just pull the lever down. And then we bring the flaps up as well, like so. And then disconnect the flight director and the LS on both sides. Just let me turn left here. Oh, hello, we stopped. Oh god. Didn't mean to do that. Um, and then obviously this side as well. And we'll come up to the overhead panel. Landing lights off. Taxi lights can stay on. Throw turn offs off. Master switch. Then once again when you see the flap open. the APU start. Okay, so flaps are open now. So head to the overhead panel and start. There we go. Oh, strobe lights after takeoff as well can also come off. So we'll go to a gate down here. And we'll take this one here. Um, tell the taxi lights when you turn on so you don't blind the marshaller. APU is available now because the green light has just gone on as you can see. So turn left here. Oh, we just stopped. stop it there, maybe a bit more there we go, stop it there just got to put the thrust in so we go again ok so parking brake set and then up here as you can see it says APU available so APU bleed on then you can cut engine 1 and engine 2 off like so. That comes up with this. Press continue. And then head over to the EFB and then go to the truck bit, door forward, and also the passenger jet. There we go. Cool. External power can come on. APB can come off. Beacon light off as well. IRS is off. Everything else is off up here, isn't it? Fuel pumps as well. And there we have it. Welcome to Stockholm. So, that concludes this tutorial um, on the Flyboy 82NX. Hope it helped. If you want to see another one, like a video or something like this, do let me know. I could do another one for a different aircraft that you guys want to see. It doesn't matter what aircraft, as long as I have it. But um, yeah, and I shall see you all in the next video very shortly. Thanks all for watching. Bye bye.